walking out we're going for a ride today in a 1991 camaro this is a rs convertible we're gonna take it down the road check all the flaws that i can find so you know exactly what you're getting i haven't started it up at all in the last three or four hours we had it blocking our gate last night this one's got the 5.0 under the hood looks like it's got cold ac we'll be checking that out Looks like it's got a fairly new alternator and a belt that looks fresh. Overall, seems like this is going to be a pretty good test drive. Check us out, maplemotors.com. We go over the flaws on these cars. We check everything out so that you don't have to. Yeah, just like that. See, I don't hide stuff. I know what it is, though. It's this under the dash here. Sometimes you pull them out and push them back in a little bit try it again that's definitely hot in there it's like a little oven let's give her another boom shaka laka <laughs> if you need financing go to maplemotors.com if you need shipping i have that as well as a hundred detailed pictures inside out and underneath and we do this with every car on the lot check out the exhaust on this one they got it centered up that's different stands out and yes i haven't started it since this morning like i said we had it blocking our gate the seats look good i can't put the tag on it because uh the paint's so slick on this one that it'll just fall off it's a magnet tag all right Face of the radio is in the office. Window's a little bit slow. We'll go back up with it. Yeah, a little bit slow on us. Same with the driver's window. Seems like that's a common issue on these Camaros. Box are working. AC is cold already. And I'm liking it. I may leave it on for a little bit while we're sitting here. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? Let's look at the mileage. If I can get my camera back here. 164,000 is what it's showing. Tilt column's working. Wipers working. Horn, let's do it. Works. Or about a quarter tank of gas. Oil pressure's way up there. All right, let's go ahead and drop the top. So on these, pull down and pull back. There we go. And where, oh, where's the button? What is that? That may be electric fans. We'll find out here in a moment. I think it's a manual top. Okay, so there should be a... Yep. Yep. And then that button that I hit in the middle console will allow... This one right here. That to lift up, which it is already. What you do is you come down with it first. I'm doing all this with one hand, by the way. The one handed bandit is back. <laughs> we got it down. Let's come on down. Works pretty good. That's what I'm talking about. They definitely upgraded the interior. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Let's go for a ride. All right. Anything I see, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. All right, guys, don't make fun of my fishing shorts today. I figured I'd wear them since I'm going tonight right after work. 
gonna have a little fun. Anything I see, you'll know about it. Stairwell feels nice. I think they've had that redone. Going straight down the road, steering's tight. Temperature's up on this one now. Oil pressure's great. Brakes touchy, not pulling to the left or right. And we got turn signals popping up on both sides of the dash. Still blasting cold air right now. So far, so good on this one. get some undercarriage shots. I'm also going to do the outside shots, drive by the camera, um, and try to have a little fun with it. Obviously, I'm going to tell you about the merchandise. I've been working on it. I got this girl that's making all these designs. She's freehand drawing this stuff, and uh, we're putting it on the shirt, and I'm very happy with the way she's been doing things. So check it out under merchandise. Look below in the description. You can go and check it out there, or you can see everything that I used to make this video, including the cameras has listings for it all right now let's go ahead and get these outside shots continue this video Seat belt on, hit the road again. And we're gonna head out of here. Let's go this way. I haven't been this way. Probably a million speed bumps, hopefully not. Oh wow. That's one of the biggest speed bumps ever. We're not doing that. <laughs> no wonder I never go that way. We'll head on this way again. <laughs> this thing's got a great sounding exhaust. There's some normal size speed bumps right here.
definitely had this steering wheel recovered. Suspension on this one's quite smooth. This would be a good road trip car too. Yeah. We actually... Camera overheated. Cause it's pretty hot out here. What I was saying was Jeff, which is one of my uncles, he uh, drove this car back about two hours. Maybe a little over two hours. And was bragging on how good it drove. Now I see why. Right around the corner from the car lot. Get our gauges there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe, share, and hit like. That really does help me out, guys. We're back. Guess we're going to button things up and get ready. But first, I'm going to show you the walk around on this. I did it over there at the park. We're going to go back and uh, check all the spots on the car, chip scratches, anything I can find. And I can tell you one thing, there was not very many at all on this one. Uh, I was quite impressed. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Check out the merchandise that we have for you. We've been making some new stuff. I had this girl, she's an artist and uh, I like her work. So hopefully y'all do too. Give me some feedback. Thanks again, guys. So we're getting ready to walk around this ride, look for chip scratches, any kind of issues that I can find so you know everything about this car before you get here. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We provide those as well. And uh, it gives undercarriage shots and anything I may miss, which I don't miss much. So let's get started here. I do have financing and shipping available. It's all there at maplemotors.com. So be sure to check that out. Let's get started. 
did pop the trunk, got the hood up, and uh, that way I'm not fumbling around with the camera. Just coming around the front end here, you got a lot of little chips from the road, rocks, little crack there, that chip. You got a little spot here, bubbling up. Rest of the front end's actually looking pretty good. Light little scratch here. Actually, that's wax and it came off. Same with this side. Coming down this side. Down the lower portion first, up and over. Coming on down. This car's in great shape. A couple little chips right there. And the back looks good as well. Back down the mid section. Check the edge of your door. A lot of times you'll have chips from people bumping the doors into other people. paint on this car is in really good shape front windshield looks nice it's not all chipped up pillars look good all the way around you got some lines here from where the top sits down but that's going to happen with the top being up and it just rubbing on the paint like that coming around the back Put on the back bumper. Looks pretty good. Looks like a light scratch right there on the back. I like how the exhaust is in the middle. Being a little different here does make a big difference. <laughs> Get it. Uh, these shocks are not strong enough to hold it up by itself. With that being said, it helps. They do help regardless, even though they're not holding it all the way up. Weather stripping looks good. Some of your clips there maybe need to be screwed back in or maybe new clips installed. Same with this side. The shocks there can be replaced and they need to be because they're not holding it up, see? marks there let's come down this side same thing lower portion midsection back over the top Then over got a couple chips right there I like this car quite a bit. It's really clean on the outside. Not too many flaws. A couple little scratches here. Real small stuff. Light chips. Well, no, that came off. It's like sap. All right, we made it around this rod. Now we're gonna go ahead and check the interior out one more time, get her started up, listen to the motor and the exhaust, and head on back to the lot. Maybe even call it a day since it's getting so late. A little bit of sun damage on top of the seats here. You could definitely tell they've been redone, but for how long, I'm not exactly sure. This car is uh, the same age as me. <laughs> Check at the bottom of the doors. 
in your jams. That door panel is in great shape. The interior on this one's got a light scratch here on the side and right here in the front. A little bit of needs to be stretched on that material. Other than that, This switch here is your fog lights. Coming on down with the hood here. Right, guys be sure to go to maplemotors.com look at that financing and shipping we provide also look at the 100 detailed pictures on the website For more information about this car, give us a call 615-822-4444. We'll be happy to help you out. We go through about 60 cars a month. And uh, as of right now, we've got about 35 in the back waiting to get ready. So we'll have a lot coming your way. Probably gonna be pushing out 10 to 15 a week for uh, a couple of weeks now, try to catch up. We got a bunch of big shows coming up, lots of new inventory, and uh, we need a cleanup guy. <laughs> He'll help us out quite a bit. So if you're local to Hendersonville, come on up to the lot, check it out, and we'll hook you up. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and hit like, and I'll see you later, guys.